Hey there, this is Jem. Um, this is my post picture under your hair after midnight kind of look. Um, <laughs> not really working and it really feels good to rub my head because I did that photo shoot today um, for my cancer awareness program and um, I'm looking forward to getting all those pictures. So I just wanted to talk to you, give you a little bit of some uh, uh, my health overview and what's going on. Um, if you didn't get to listen to the podcast, I went to the doctor this week and I think I was basically having um, anxiety, maybe panic attacks or whatever because of um, all the stuff that's going on. But actually that was really cool because it motivated me to contact the City of Hope and follow up on stuff. I randomly heard this commercial and heard the phone number and I was like, screw it. And I picked it up, called the phone number and um, I actually have an appointment with the City of Hope on Wednesday. Um, and that is really cool. I've also reached out to this organization called New Hope in Arizona. They do the ozone therapy and um, the different um, cellular treatments as well as, you know, uh, I know they talk a lot about the uh, baking soda and um, uh, the alkaline water and the juicing and the different supplements and things like that as well. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to um, talking to them. I'm going to be talking to a gentleman named Larry. He actually called me the other day. I didn't get an opportunity to call him back. I'm going to do it um, tomorrow and see what he has to tell me. But I'm thinking that the City of Hope is probably going to say, uh, we want you here now and uh, you're going to get surgery. And that kind of, kind of sucks because... I'm, I'm going to keep an open mind that everything's going to work out, but um, I'm kind of, I really like the, the plastic surgeon that I found here in town, um, Duncan Miles, and I, I really, really want him to do my plastic surgery. Uh, I don't know if I can work that out, but I'm going to do my damnedest to make that happen. Um, and... Um, I don't know, I feel really confident about that. And I I just this week I was like, okay, I'm done. I want this out. I want I mean, I love my boob. <laughs> I mean, um, I know this sounds crazy, but you know, it is larger than my left boob. Um, I don't know how much you can see. I mean it's it's really just like fuller and um it is it is warm now and it does have there's like a little bit of pain now and again, kind of like more discomfort than pain, and um, I, I just want I just want the other stuff out, you know. I, I the shape and all the other stuff I, I can deal with, um, but the other stuff that's going to cause me harm, I want that out. I just this week I was like, okay, I, I, I'm done. I, I want this out. I want it out. I want it out right away. So I'm thinking, okay, so what's going to happen if I have the, the surgery? Um, I guess you have tubes that drain for like three weeks or something like that. Um, I have the Masters Hall of Fame coming up and I've been looking forward to that for months. I've worked really hard on that project and um, I, I'll go. I will go. Um, I will go. Definitely. Um, I might not look the best, but I will go. Um, I think those things are important. You know, I have people say, well, you know, you might need to stay home for this or that. But you know what? If I don't have those things to look forward to, then the rest of it's just all crap. The rest of it's all crap. So um, when I did go in, he, like I said, they gave me a prescription for anxiety. And uh, actually, City of Hope told me to go ahead and request something like that just in case I do need it. Um, It'll, I guess by reducing my anxiety, I won't be so sensitive to the other things that are going on in my body because I can feel something that's going on. Oh, I'm short of breath. Oh my gosh, something's going wrong. Da, 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 da. And I have that kind of, you know, that kind of a feeling um, about things. And it, it might not be very realistic, you know what I mean, just because of the state that I'm in. So um, I'm sorry, but my hair's been up all day. Ladies, you know how it feels, or guys with long hair, you know how that feels. So, um, uh, I haven't taken it, but I really know that I need to work out and I'm going to try the other things first. I'm going to, you know, um, work out and make time for that stuff and make time for um, myself to have a little bit of my jacuzzi time or whatever I need and um, focus on those things as well as all the alternatives. I need to plan a time to go stay with Valerie Correll from WAM so I can figure out all my dosing that I'm going to do on my oil. Um, 
and that will be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um, I've run into a lot of people that have are referring me to other people, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to them. I was telling my friend today how there's so many different ideas about how people get breast cancer and um, cancer in general. Um, a lot of it has to do with our diet, how much more prevalent it is right now. Um, I have had people tell me, you know, did you wear underwire bras? Uh, do you put your cell phone in your bra? Do you put your cell phone under your pillow? Do you wear a Bluetooth on the same side? Yes, I do wear a Bluetooth. I really don't put the, the cell phone under my pillow. I have before when I have, have an alarm. Um, but there are all these other things that are um, going on um, that people uh, uh, say are related to our health. I do really believe, though, that our birth control has a lot to do with it. Um, the hormones that we ingest and you know somehow or another they've convinced us that okay now so you're not fat you're gonna have to you know um, go vegan or or gluten-free or all of these things and all of our foods are so polluted um, if you're doing soy or tofu or soy milk or anything along those lines I mean uh, edamame has a lot of uh, um, estrogen in it all those kind of things alcohol raises your estrogen levels all those different things actually, um, you know, they help to unbalance your hormones. And um, most of the time, you know, you have these receptors. I think that's how it works. And I'm not a doctor, so I could get this wrong and I'm learning it all. But um, I guess like mine is estrogen fed. And um, I had two doctors prescribe estrogen for me. And it... It just, I asked them to do a hormone panel. They said, oh, no, it's not going to really matter. You're not taking it that much. But I really felt the difference. Um, and, you know, that just helped. It just fed my, the tumors. Yeah. So um, I think, you know, I, I hear I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to do. And, you know, I must be having some kind of success because, I'm not really overweight and um, everything because I, I was in that menopausal period and stuff and I was like, I am not going to get that belly and all that stuff. I worked really hard to make sure that that didn't happen. So I, in a way, I was like, you know, you look healthy, um, but now somebody's telling you you're not healthy. How does that work out? Well, a lot of people believe that we have that cancer, the cancer cells in our body. It's just a matter of activating them. And, you know, stress is one of the thing, ways that we activate them. Um, imbalanced hormones. Um, I think that Suzanne Summers basically, or, I mean, there's like five or six things that, that come into play that will actually activate them. And that's how it's kind of thought of in a lot of ways. I'm not sure if that's really how it works. Uh, it makes sense to me, but... What do I know, right? Right. Exactly. It's funny because I think that because my arm is, um, I, I sleep a little bit different to um, accommodate my um, right breast. So I sleep on my right side that I was actually sleeping on my arm and my arm might have been going numb. And that's why I panicked. And um, I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, but there's so many things that that I, I wanted to kind of talk about and I didn't really have time to write notes because I've been doing all kinds of stuff so please excuse me um, and it is 1 18 in the morning and I still have to wash all this paint off and I have an interview at 8 30 in the morning so um, you can see that like my energy not really affected um, I still I still feel good and everything and I'm going to continue to feel good and I'm going to do whatever I need to do pretty much I mean um, that, that that's reasonable to me that um, I can do to um, keep myself healthy. It's funny, I was talking to somebody today and, you know, I told them I really didn't tell anybody anything till the last six months for the most part. There was maybe a handful of people that knew. And not my youngest kids didn't even know anything. And the reason is, is that I am um, a, a more spiritual person and I didn't want people to say, I will be praying for you to get better because there's an implication there that I'm in bad health and I don't want the focus to be on that. I, you know, if anybody is out there praying, I want them to say, stay in good health, Jim, remain in great health, uh, Jim, have a long life, Jim, you know, and focus your energy on that. So it's not that I'm being, um, 
I'm not grateful for your prayers. I just have a certain belief and um, I, I don't want people to think of me that way. So we're moving energy that way. I want you to think of me in great health because I feel great. And, um, it, you know, I mean, this this itself is a gift. It's a gift. It really it really and truly is. So, um, again, no sorries. No sorries. Um, I think that some people don't talk to me because maybe they don't know how to handle it or how they should talk to me. Um, I think it's quite amazing for people who actually still want to date me or go out with me because I, I think that's crazy too I mean um, not that it, it looks you know um, well you'll see it if you look at my pictures not that it looks really ugly or anything like that but um, I just think that you know, there's a lot of stuff to deal with and you should really think about it before you go out with somebody in that situation. Um, not only, I mean, from both sides of it, um, I might get attached to you. Let's say we went out and, and you know, we, we like each other and everything's good and everything. I might become attached to you and at some point you might say, you know what, this is just too much. This is too much. I can't, I can't take that chance that, you know, this is not going to play out the way I want it to. And, um that would hurt me more and it would really while like if I, if I was in a healthy state yes it would still affect me can you imagine in the in the the position that I'm in right now um, how that would affect me I, I don't think people really think about that and also again and vice versa you know what I mean would would you be able to handle what's um, what might possibly be lying ahead um, I don't know if people really think about that but I think you should I think you should. Um, I don't think that, of course, I mean, I'm sure everybody thinks this way. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I just don't see me um, succumbing at any, at any point, and I'm not going to just lay there in my bed for three weeks. And uh, I think that's the best time to get attention is to go out and say, like, right now, I'm walking out and meeting people say, um, Hi, my name is Gem and I was recently diagnosed with breast cancer. I do my best not to claim it. I don't want to say I have or, you know, whatever. I'll say I was, I'm, I've been diagnosed with. Um, that's their, that's the way they explain things. It's, I'm not going to own that. That doesn't belong to me. You know what I mean? The only thing I'm claiming is my life, my life back in many, many ways. And um, everything they have coming to me, I'm, I'm claiming. Um, the other stuff, you can keep that. But it's really cool because I get this like crazy response because I think like, you know, if you go and you go online and you Google breast cancer or something like that, oh my God, the images are horrifying. They're absolutely horrifying. So I, I want like to be kind of this new face of, of the C word, you know what I mean? Because it can look like this, okay? I got the makeup, yeah, I'm being the geisha kind of thing and I got the body painting going on today and everything. And it's really cool. So I don't know if you did. I'll show you in case you didn't see in the podcast, but I'm all painted up. Um, can't do too much here, but I'm painted. Uh, see, can you see my belly button? There you go. And it's been all day, so it's fading. So um, he painted me like that. It's really cool. I think there's hands on my butt too, which you can't really see them. Um, but I want to be that new face. Um, I want people to listen. I, I've run into so many people who just said yes. They said, oh, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Oh, you have a lump. We're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep an eye on it. Guess what? That's not an effective way to deal with things. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's funny. It reminds me of kind of like putting something on the, on the stove and, you know, the flame's on and it's boiling and you just watch it. And you're like, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I think it's burning. Let's just keep an eye on it. Pretty soon it's on fire. Okay, it's burning, your dinner's ruined or whatever. I mean, that's that's kind of how I felt like I was treated um, in the whole process of things. So um, again, that was just ramblings and stuff of um, what I'm going through in my thoughts. It's really late, I'm tired. I apologize, I don't have anything better to say to you 
Um, but like I said, my City of Hope referral did go through. I'm going to be getting my second opinion. I'm going to be going on Wednesday. I'm very excited about that as well as New Hope. And I have to set up the things with um, Wham so I can do all the other alternatives. Um, if you know of any other ones you want to tell me about, that would be absolutely fabulous. I'm going to get as much information. Oh, yeah. Somebody else reached out from uh, reached out to me from Facebook um, and told me that they knew some other alternatives, too. So I'm going to check that out as well. Um, again, my, my campaign is to offer support to um, the men, a lot of the men um, who have women, wives, sisters, um, daughters who... Um, have been diagnosed with any form of cancer, um, but you know, mine just happens to be breast cancer. I can really only tell you what I can do or what I've had to go through with this, and you and you have to figure out the rest. But um, it, you know, at least you, that girlfriend might not want to talk to you, and maybe by listening to what I'm going through, you'll you'll have a better idea. So um, I'm sorry this wasn't so structured, but I just wanted to to let you know how I flipped out and I went to the doctor and um, I'm going to be going to the City Hope on Wednesday and I hope you continue to listen to me um, and if you are in the situation right now do not allow them to say we're going to sit and watch this you say no I would like a biopsy now and um, don't let them tell you that you have to wait a certain amount of months or whatever because it's just you don't want to be like me and be two, two and a half years in and still be going, hmm, 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 hmm. what is that, Tilly Shums? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're just going to watch. We're going to watch. We're going to watch. And then have your dinner burn. You don't want that to happen. So um, if you have found anything suspicious, um, I would like to go ahead and um, do the breast exam on our vlog. If you have found anything suspicious, I really, really recommend that. Um, you go get it checked out and realize that when you thought it wasn't you, because I thought it was going to be me, before they say people who breastfed, forget it. You'll be fine. Um, but um, get it checked out right away. Yeah. Don't count yourself out because it's just way too common nowadays. Don't sit and wait. Um, ask for the referral out right away. Um, I should have went to an oncologist right away. But don't sit and wait. And women, check your boobs. Check your boobs all the time. All the time. Let your boyfriend check your boobs. Let your whoever, your significant other, check your boobs. Just check your boobs all the time. And um, we will get through this together. So I promise I'll, I'll do better on my vlog next time. But for right now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to try to wash this mess off. And um, thank you for joining me. And um, here's to your good health. I will talk to you soon. This is Jim with everything I need.